Outside the U.S., there are a number of, of new technology payment mechanisms that are very important. Uh, most new technologies in today's environment are initially introduced into Western Europe after CE Mark, and so one of the first issues uh, that needs to be addressed is, is whether uh, and how to get adequate reimbursement in the major European economies of, of Germany, France, uh, and the United Kingdom, uh, just to name three. In Germany, there is a uh, new technology payment mechanism called the NUB uh, that hospitals need to apply for uh, to the federal agency that uh, controls their hospital prospective payment system called INEC. And each year, INEC will review hospital applications uh, for incremental reimbursement for new technologies and decide which technologies can be approved uh, on the NUB list. If they're approved and only about 15% of the technologies are, then each hospital can negotiate with the local payer for incremental reimbursement for a period between two and five years until the new technology costs are formally and permanently incorporated into the system. There have been a number of very successful new technologies that have been introduced using the NUB payment mechanism, including uh, transcatheter mitral valves uh, and a variety of, of others. And uh, so this is an increasingly important mechanism. In France, uh, their uh, manufacturers submit applications uh, for uh, incremental and uh, supplementary reimbursement for implantable medical devices. And the French um, uh, HAS, H -A -S, uh, agency reviews and approves those technology payments. They have a formal rating scale to rate the degree of innovation associated with new technologies. That's called the ASA rating scale that rates new technologies on a scale from one, which is a major innovation, uh, to five, which is no innovation at all. And there's a linkage between the level of payment and the clinical and economic value for, uh, for very innovative technologies in the, in the range of ASA level one to three, then the manufacturer must fit, uh, submit formal cost effectiveness um, uh, uh, application showing the economic value to the French healthcare system. In the United Kingdom, there's a separate uh, technology pathway uh, called commissioning with evidence development, which is similar, similar in some respects to the Medicare coverage with evidence development framework. And so recently, uh, there are four new technologies, into, including transcatheter mitral valves, uh, that are going through that process. And similar to the United States, it involves mandatory participation in a national registry. And then there's actually a national uh, technology procurement process that the new technologies go through so that they are approved for a certain number of uh, uses uh, during the year. So there is a national budget associated with these uh, new technologies. For breakthrough technologies, it's, it's really important that innovators uh, work with an experienced reimbursement or market access uh, consultant and uh, these consultants have a knowledge of how these systems work and what are the explicit requirements and how does it really uh, get done which are not necessarily the same what types of evidence are uh, critical to collect and uh, how to negotiate the the process in engaging with the payer working with national societies and uh, key hospitals and, and thought leaders.